All right, hey guys, and welcome back to our tutorial, the part number two of three. Um, today we're going to uh, look at importing uh, our image that we created in the last part of our tutorial from GIMP to Inkscape. So what we're gonna do, we have our image, but we didn't actually save it in the last tutorial. I probably should have done that before we finished off, but I just wanted to go ahead and get that first part out of the way because I figured that might've been a little long. Looked back at the recording and realized I actually had more time than I thought I did, but uh, that's the way of things. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to go up to file now with our new thing. And I don't want to save over this file because I might want to go back to the source file and use the mail at some point. Or I just might want to go back to the source file and edit a little bit differently than I did with this uh, time that we just did. So I'm going to save as. And I'm going to type in um, woman. Oh, sorry. Wow. Um, w O. And, wow, woman, sorry, i have having a little bit of an off day, so uh, woman01, and we're going to save it as a JPEG, not a PNG, just it makes it simpler for the vector conversion. Uh, PNGs can sometimes be a little messy when it comes to that, um, and I'm going to save it uh, just in my pictures. Um, so let's save that, and I'm uh, going to leave it at my defaults, which might be a little bit different than yours if you've never used GIMP before, uh, but I put my quality to 100, optimize, no smoothing. Uh, no progressive, no restart markers, uh, subsampling, best quality, of course, save thumbnail, and uh, DCT mode if integer. These I just have because I had them there. Uh, I like it there. It's, I do a little, I do quite a bit of photo editing um, and post to the internet, so this is when I do edit JPEGs. This is what I like to use when I'm not editing raw, but most of mine are JPEGs, so this is just what I edit with, but uh, uh, not worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Um, all right, so we have that. So we can actually close out GIMP now because we won't be needing it for the rest of the time. So we have Inkscape open. And now we're going to go ahead and open. And then we're going to navigate through all of my uh, crap I have on my computer, which is quite a lot because uh, I am just uh, horribly organized, ADHD kid and all. But um, yeah, so we're going to go down to pictures, date. Um, oops, nope, we're going to be at the other end, woman01. OK, so we're going to open this. And we're just going to go ahead and embed it. I don't want to link it because linking creates problems unless you're uh, – linking is a very specific thing. But if I do any more Inkscape tutorials, I'll talk about linking at a later date. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, and it'll resize. It does this sometimes. It's a bit weird. Um, so you'll notice it's already really pixely as opposed to our GIMP window because GIMP has special loaders that Inkscape doesn't have. But uh, if we zoom out, we can see where we were in GIMP. But um, So we can see this is not what we want. Um, there are little bits around the edge. Uh, JPEG compression does that. That's fine, though. Because we're going to go in here and we're just going to um, select the image, make sure it's selected. You'll notice that it has these scaling markers around it. And um, you're just going to go up to here where it says path and then trace bitmap. And we're not going to worry about any of these settings, options, or credits. Um, Suppress so speckles, of course, we're going to have size two because that's all we need. There was just little bits of speckles. Um, all this other stuff, don't worry about it. If your settings aren't exactly mine, that's fine. I've played with mine a little bit just to, before this tutorial. but you don't have to have these exact settings and it'll still work. So you can click update if you just want to see the preview, which sometimes gives you white. I don't know why. It may be a problem with my copy because I'm using the portable version and not the full version installed on my computer, so that might be why. But um, yours should not do this. If it does, though, don't worry about it because it's completely fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click OK, and then we're going to X out of this. So now if you see, we can drag this over, and it looks like it's almost identical copy. But when we zoom in, you can quickly notice that this one is the vector image. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, bitmap because we don't need it anymore. And I'm just going to take the vector and put it over here and just resize it out right there. Center it more. Um, there is no, uh, there is center snapping, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's, this SVG doesn't have to be precise because we're going to be using it in Blender. Um, if we're going to do a little bit more in depth, we can look at this right here. And you'll see that the shoulders are a little um, clipped. I could edit this and make this a complete uh, bezler um, rotation, uh, not bezler rotation, but a bezler uh, curve option. And uh, actually, yeah, see, I could do that, but then it'll make her uh, a little puffy. I'm not the best with vector editing. I just know some basics that I've learned in the past few days, and I thought I would share this with you. Um, this foot looks a little bit off, so we can go ahead and uh, change that. That might look a little better, I think. Yeah, that looks at least a little better. I think this is uh, this is a suitable image. Actually, you know what? Uh, just to be a little perfectionist here, this should be um, flat as an arrow. Um, uh, yeah, let's see. That's what I want. Um, yeah, I want this. All right. Let me do that. Do that. And pull that down there. Put that down there. And I think that'll be, yeah, a bit. Ooh, yeah, wow. 
Yeah. Um, let me. So yeah, just doing some little editing stuff here, but uh, just just to trim it up, I guess I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to these sorts of things. So uh, yeah, that's much better. All right. So now we have our image. We're going to go file and it not save. Although I will actually do go ahead and save a copy of this. Um, actually, no. Apparently, I won't. Oh no, I will. Okay. So I'm going to save this just as an Inkscape SVG. That's the standard format. Um, yeah, save it to my pictures. You can also go file export bitmap, but that just exports a bitmap. And so we've saved the SVG now. That's good. So what are we going to do next? Well, we can actually end off this part of the tutorial. I know this was a fairly short one, but uh, in the next tutorial, which I think I'll be uploading within the next few days, assuming all goes well and I don't get sick or get busy or delayed with uh, college uh, applications and such or Eagle projects and whatnot. But um, yes, uh, so we'll see you in the next one when we go ahead and import our SVG into Blender. All right, thanks.